Hey guys, this is going to be uh, addressable system test 3 and it's going to be the last uh, system test of the Morley because it has been sold and I'm going to be uh, sending it off tomorrow and I'm getting another panel to replace it and some of you already may know what that is but um, yeah uh, so yeah uh, I've got new devices so I've got a uh, KAC XP95 call point and an intelligent sounder base and a discovery optical. Um, so yeah, I'll just tell you, um, give you a quick list of all the devices and what zooms they're on. So um, first on the loop is the XP95 call point, which is on zone one. Um, next is the intelligent call point, which is on zone one as well. Um, then we have the Symphony, which is on zone 5, it's on its own zone. Um, uh, we've got the Discovery Optical, is on zone 4, uh, and the Intelligence Sounder Base. Um, the Discovery Multisensor is on zone 3, with the Sounder Beacon Base on zone 3, and the x of Optical and the Integrated are on zone 2. Uh, so yeah, I also uh, have a Series 65 base sounder as well. But that's um, disabled so the sounders can all be in sync because the sounder circuits don't sync very well uh, especially when they're doing alert also I've got this call point like this because there seems to be some short circuit thing uh, so if I put it on it if I put it on properly it'll just show the short circuit LEDs and the panel will go in default so yeah, I don't know really what's up with that, but I will fix it uh, and get take it back up at space. There we go. See. Um. But yeah, I'll just keep that disabled. Um. Also, I'll tell you what zones activate what. Call points or, or sorry, what call points or detectors activate what sounders? So, both of these, well, this just this because that is not actually a fire alarm call point anymore, uh, and I'll I'll tell you why after this. Um, so this uh, call point activates these two base sounders. This detector activates all three base sounders. This discovery optical activates these two sounders and the symphony, and this detector activates everything. So yeah, um, let's go into the test. So first, I'm going to start off by uh, setting this call point off as it um, does alert. So there we go, and you can hear the alert tone on all the sounders. So as you can see, um, the intelligent took a bit longer than the other three sounders to activate. So first of all, we're going to test the zones in order. So we're going to test uh, this call point first. So let's do it. So reset that here. It's quite new, so it's a bit awkward to reset, but as you can see, uh, one of one fire, uh, it's address 7, call points is the zone name, uh, XP95K CMCP is the device name, zone 1, call point the device type, alarm silenced, and then the time elapsed. Um, the time elapsed is quite cool, which I will miss about the Morley. Um, so, um, next we will test the XP95 optical, um, just using the smoke saber here, so, quick spray. There we go. So, 
very nice tone hold there and the intelligent sounder bass sounds very nice with the bass sounders or the near bass sounders um, so yeah um, I can reset that now Um, I'll test the Discovery Optical in Walk Test. Walk Test. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zone 4 it is. C4. Yeah, one thing I will not miss about the Morley is the long reset times. <laughs> because it takes a very long time to reset. So, also one thing I won't miss is having to al always automatically enter, or always automatically, always manually enter the address. So, yeah. Let's see. It pulls faster when it's in, um, when it's being viewed in the menu. So. So. Don't know why I press silence there, it's a bit of a habit. <laughs> um, but you could see the symphony didn't tune hold, which is interesting, but um, yeah, give this a uh, clear out. Uh, the buzzer's anno a bit annoying, but I guess it's unique, so it's quite cool. So I might miss it. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's pre-alarm, I think. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, it's going down again, so... That's strange. Um, take it out of walk test. So that should clear the LED. Okay, that's taking a long time. That also takes a long time, a very long time to um reset and exit walk test. And also another thing is the any faults are always latching, which means that they don't reset once they've cleared. For example, if I take a device off its head um, and put it back on. It doesn't clear until I reset the panel, unlike the Sigma. Um, but yeah, uh, for this, for this, I will test. Uh, first of all, disable the other ones because. Um, I don't, uh, I'll disable all, all the other detectors. So that's zone two. And zone. Three. Um, and then I'll enable day mode because day mode is actually set to go on at night because I don't want the symphony to blast my ears off. Um, but yeah, we'll tem temporarily turn that on so as you can see the delayed uh, mode is lit. So yeah, uh, let's test this um, multi-sensor, uh, go into the, I always have to do this, oh, um, <laughs> I accidentally disabled the wrong zones. So I've disabled the right zones now and we can check the analog reading again. So let's test this. Um, delayed day mode, by the way, is uh, stage one and stage two timer. Uh, stage one is 30 seconds and stage two is two minutes. So obviously I'm going to press accept or not press accept to let it go off. Um, but yeah, 
Be sick. They can use more to activate. Free alarm. As you can see, um, it's got a stage two timer, which is quite cool. Um, I can't actually see the reading right now because I'll just exit the analog reading. Um, but yeah, if I don't press accept within 30 seconds, then all the sounders will go off, so yeah. There we go. So, yeah, if you're wondering why I'm silencing them very quick, it's because it's night time now and I don't want to disturb people. So, yeah, it's very loud and I've got headphones on as well. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, that's also another interesting thing. If it goes into fall, um, it so still sounds continuous beep rather than a um, pulsing beep like it would in a fault. <laughs> but uh, also, the earth wire is loose there because I just couldn't get it long enough, which is pretty much what's happened in this whole demo board <laughs> with this as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let's check the analog reading. Yeah, we're good to go. So I'll take it out of uh, out of delayed day mode for testing the heap. And I'll re-enable the zones. Also, one thing I don't like about the morning is that you can't just re-enable every zone that you've disabled, unlike other panels. This isn't giving you a hint or anything, but whoops. So, um, I will again put this in to view the analog reading because heat takes a very long time to activate. So, let's test it now. Very nice. Blowing this should actually help because I mean my uh, breath is cooler so but these really do take a painfully long time to activate so I will probably be getting a heat detector as well. Um, don't know where I'm gonna put it though but anyway uh, so yeah uh, let's check the analog reading again. Oh, that's good. Um, so yeah, also the intelligence on your base seems to sync up pretty well. Uh, it's a tiny bit out of sync, but that's okay. I mean, the Morley is very good at syncing sounders, I have to say. I'll give it that. Uh, 
Also, another thing I like about it is in the menu, if you don't do anything, it gets rid of this and shows the time and stuff, which is nice if you're checking the analog reading. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's log out here. Or, no, I'll do a LED test. I uh, like how it scrolls through the LEDs like that. And I think it's just doing this because it's doing it as if there were zone LEDs below this on like a ZX5 SE uh, or a ZX5E. Um, so yeah. So that would be d testing the fire LEDs and then the fault LEDs. It does, ex it does exit or finish eventually. I'll just exit it manually because there's no point showing that. So, do an LCD test again. These do take quite a long time. I wonder if I can exit. That's strange. Uh, outputs test individual sounders. So, I'll just give you a quick demo on that. Um, so, I'll actually just do this, the series 65. There seems to be something, when I press it, and then I press not operated, it just activates again sometimes, I don't know why, but... Let's see if I do the... Sound of Beacon Beers. That was very interesting because it didn't tone hold and just kept sounding like the integrated does. Let's try that again. Oh, there's a good tune hold. Um, actually, I might just sound the intelligent sounder bass for fun. Takes a bit longer. And it's extremely loud. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that will conclude the test. We'll just do a simple or quick alert. Uh, hmm, there was a bit of crackling there. And also, I've noticed when it does um, alert with an event, it stutters, it likes to stutter, uh, like when it's silencing sounders after testing individual ones. So yeah, uh, I'll just log out. So yeah, I do like this panel, it's just, it just doesn't do everything I want it to do really. Like, it doesn't have a 7 day timer. Uh, and other things like, um, Stuff like uh, two loops, you know, because loop cords are confined to one manufacturer, um, which is, I guess, I don't really see the point in having a multi protocol panel if it can only support one at a time. But uh, yeah, it, it's all right. Like, um, but I just wanted something a bit better, and you'll see that in the next test. Anyway, that's it going to be it for this system test. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Or system test. Goodbye, for now.